It really does feel like deja vu out here. In this case, the 25-year-old coach you mentioned, Andre Brown, accused of trying to get a 13-year-old girl at East Middle School in Farmington Hills to send him nude photos via Snapchat, much like the case we highlighted in the fall of yet another coach at Farmington High School. In this case, police are concerned there are more victims out there. I absolutely wish people would just leave our children alone. It's a seemingly simple ask from this mom whose kid was coached by 25 year old Andre Brown once on the sidelines at football games at East Middle School in Farmington Hills. Now an accused sexual predator. I was shocked. I was absolutely in tears um, because I've met him on several occasions and he seemed to be such a nice person. Investigators arresting Brown right at the school last week where he worked as a hall monitor and boys basketball and football coach. He's accused of trying to get a 13 year old girl to send him nude photos, initiating the conversation with her on Snapchat. Farmington Hills Police Chief Jeff King commending the young girl for confiding in a counselor. How do you feel about the school's handling of the situation? Honestly, I thought it was perfect. I thought it was perfect. Um, you know, they did everything immediately. Brown is charged with two felonies, one count of child sexual abusive activity and accosting a child for immoral purposes. This is the second time recently Farmington Public Schools have had an employee, a hall monitor and coach accused of sexual misconduct. 43 year old Jeremy Tompkins caught in October for trying to have sex with 15 and 16 year old male players on the varsity City basketball team at Farmington High School. He's now charged those brave boys taking the stand in court. I felt like rubbing on my leg and I was like confused. I was thinking that it was about to be to do Fox 2 dug deep into Tompkins Pass, learning of a string of possibly dozens of victims at schools in and around Detroit. In this latest case with Coach Andre Brown, similar concerns. And our fear is, is that there's more unidentified uh, individuals involved, witnesses and uh, victims. Since the 13 year old girl spoke out and Brown was arrested, a second child has come forward as a possible victim. You know, you want to trust the school, you want want to trust the staff and at the end of the day you really don't know who anyone is you know Farmington Public Schools did send a letter out to parents last week. In that letter, they did explain that they do do state and federal background checks on all employees, and Coach Andre Brown did not have any priors. Now, as we said, he has already been charged. He was given a $25,000 bail, 10%. That means he can get out of police custody for $2,500. Reporting live in Farmington Hills, Jessica Dupnack on The Edge.